finish 1-1 one, one here. How are you feeling after that one? Not too bad. It was, uh, obviously, the first half was obviously nervy. Get that goal. And then Scotland just like watching Hibs, Skins. Their own mistakes at the end of the day. But I thought we were really good the second half. I just felt we could have been a bit more direct. I thought John McGinn was really, really quiet tonight. Whereas I, I thought McDominic could have went further up than McGinn. A bit more creativity in the middle of the park. That's what we were lacking today. So, but that's how you take a point before the end of the game. So I take it. Obviously electric, electric here to get that McTominay goal. But then a silly error by Ralston. Give them a chance. You give players like Shakiri a chance. They punish you. Exactly. And this is Scotland's own run doing. Got the the fans not go across, but I think we've got that expectation to be to be better. And, and it's just always silly mistakes for some reason. But listen, I'll take a point before the end of the game. If you offer that before the match, I would have took it. But second half, it was really, really good. I hit the post with Hanley. Hanley, I think it was a header. It was uh, even, evenly matched at the second half, but happy with the result. Happy with the it result. pretty much means that Scotland will have to beat Hungary to progress. You confident they'll do that? Aye, I think so, aye. I think we'll get a few uh, points. A bit 50 50. At the end of the day, it's a point. We've got to go and play Hungary and get three points. But we had our chances. I mean, we hit the post. Uh, there was a stramash in the, in the box. At the same time, so did Switzerland. So I think the problem we've got is our defence. You know, we've had, the first half had a couple of passbacks that gave them corners at nothing. And then a mistake by the Ross that gave them the goal. So we've got to tighten up. But if we can tighten up there and play a wee bit better than we did today, I think we've got a good chance. How pleasing was it to see that type of performance from the Scotland squad, even though it was only a point? Well, it was like night and day. And uh, I mean, it was so disappointing when we played Germany. It was like men against boys. But today they came out, gave it their all. You can see from the very start they were up for it. And they were up for the fight. They pressed, pressed, pressed at the start. And they tried throughout the game. There was no people who were hiding. You know, everybody was given what they could. And that, that's a good sign. If we continue doing that, then we've got a chance. Yeah, I'm content. I thought I thought we'd done much better uh, than we did on Friday. Uh, I thought we more than matched them. So yeah, I think that's given us a lot of confidence going into Hungary on Sunday. Obviously, it was a much better performance than we saw against Germany. Does that give you confidence heading into that Hungary game? Yeah, like the, I think Hungary are out now, so you know, never know. It's gone to the final day, so that's the main thing. At least it keeps it going. Fingers crossed. Happy with that result, or do you think you could have gone on for all three points? Uh, we don't make that mistake. I think we're going and win the game, uh, and if we get the three points, I think we qualify. We take the draw before the game though, because it keeps you alive, and I think we can beat Hungary if we play the way we did tonight. Obviously, only a point now in the group. All three points are almost a must if we want to progress into the next round. You confident to get all three points against Hungary? I think if we all get behind them, yes, <laughs> they will. They will. They just have to go all out, and I think maybe change the team up a little bit and put two up front and then I think that way you're all attacking so <laughs>